Hello friends and welcome to this video series. We are discussing C++ programming language. And today we are going to learn friend function. Now you remember we had this n complex class, right? We are trying to simulate the complex numbers in mathematics. Right now, I'll write my main function here. So we learned to overload binary arithmetic operator plus like c3 equal to c1 plus c3 so we created an object of type n complex and then we overloaded the plus operator with function like this operator plus right what if we have a requirement like this let's say c3 equal to c2 plus 5 so you can add an integer to a complex number in mathematics so for example, C2 is 2 plus 3i, right? You can add 5 to this. So 5 is treated as 5 plus 0i. So 7 plus 3i. This will be the answer when you try to add 5 to C2, that is 2 plus 3i, right? So now, how do you overload this kind of thing? So you could say for having this kind of call, this will resolve itself as C3 equal to C2 dot operator plus and it will require an integer because second operand is of type integer first operand will be used to invoke the function overloaded operator plus function and second operand will be the integer type because we are trying to add an integer to complex number so we'll have to write that function and we can easily write it now what if i do something like this c3 equal to 5 plus c2 this is also possible right the result should be the same right adding 5 to complex number 2 plus 3i so it will be 2 plus 3i 5 5 is considered as 5 plus 0i so it should be 7 plus 3i correct the problem is this kind of operation how will you resolve the call now you cannot say something like c3 equal to 5 dot operator plus c2 right 5 cannot invoke operator plus function written inside n complex class because 5 is not the object of type n complex so it cannot invoke this overloaded function that we can write inside the class right so we have a problem we cannot handle situation like this for this we have to use something called as friend function right so what is friend function if i were to give you an analogy we all have family that is our class that is our type right and our family has house a home right that is our boundary basically that house is exclusively for us our family we are that is the objects of our family can access that house the member functions and the data members and we have refrigerator tv computer laptop kitchen utensils everything these things are available and are accessible to family members, right? But sometimes we make an exception. Few special people, few special friends, right? Who are exception to this rule. These friends can come to your house and access any of these things. Your laptop, your computer, your TV, your refrigerator, your air conditioner, your toilet right so these are friends right and these are very few friends like this so it's a similar concept so what we are going to do we're going to write a function which will be a friend of class n complex this friend function will be allowed to access the private data members of your class so that we could accomplish this operation right so let's use a friend to accomplish this in C++, friend function can be declared like this. So you have to use this keyword friend, right, followed by return type. So this operation will basically result into another complex number, right, the addition result. So we'll say friend, return type will be n complex and we are overloading the plus operator. So we'll say function name is operator plus. We require one integer, so we'll say integer, 
and then we'll require one uh, n complex object. So we will pass again constant n complex. We'll use pass by reference ampersand c, right? So this is my declaration. So I'm declaring this function operator plus as my friend. It will return n complex object. It requires one integer and one reference of type n complex. I'm making that reference constant because as I said in the previous video, we don't want this function to be able to change the values of this uh, copy, the alias that we are going to create of our operand. That's our constant, right? Now, once I declare it here, I need to define it. So I can define this function outside the class now. It is a global function. Now this is accessible by anyone and everyone. It's a global function. You can declare the friend function in public part, public section or private section, doesn't matter. It is going to be a global function. And while you define this function, you don't need to use scope resolution operator. Generally, when we declare member functions inside, but define them outside, we have to use class name and scope resolution operator. But here, this is not a normal member function. So we don't need to use scope resolution operator. You can directly say n complex, that is the return type, name of the function, operator plus, right? And then say integer x, and we'll say constant n complex reference c, right? So I'm gonna write this function now. So because I'm going to return an n complex, I'll declare one local n complex, uh, let's say sum object, and then I'll say sum dot n real. You remember we added the integer to the real part of the C2. So we'll say x, that is the integer, plus the other operand C dot n real. And we'll say sum dot n imaginary equal to now imaginary part of the c2 will be added to zero it will be same so we'll just say c dot n imaginary right we are only adding integer to the real part and we'll just say return sum so this is our definition of the friend function remember here you don't need to use a scope resolution operator because this is a friend function it's not a member function and then this call will be automatically resolved as this call will be resolved as c3 equal to operator plus 5 comma c2 so it will be resolved as this and this function will be called and will get the result and we can then display the result so this is how you use friend function you have to declare it as friend right inside your class be it in public section or private section doesn't matter and the definition is outside and this is a global function right so its scope is not limited to this class you can invoke this function from outside of this class also like we did here right friend function can access all the data members and all the member functions of your class friend can access all of them private public doesn't matter private public protected all data members and all member functions, this friend function can access. It has no restrictions, right? So for that reason, they say that do not use friend functions unless absolutely necessary because it breaks the rules of encapsulation. It breaks the principle of information hiding. So just use it when absolutely necessary. So what are the usual scenarios to use friend function? Usually, when you need to perform operations, certain operations on two different types, right? In this case, we needed to perform addition operation on two different types, one integer and one n complex, right? So this is one scenario. Whenever you want, you need to perform operation on two dissimilar types. It could be two user-defined types like class one and class two, right? So these are two totally different types, which are nothing in common, but there is one operation possible on these two classes. But now you cannot write that functionality in either class one or class two, because it will not, it will prohibit the other class to access it according to our encapsulation rules. In that case, 
you can use friend function so you can make that function as friend in both this class 1 and class 2 so it will be able to access the private properties of this two class and still be able to provide that functionality of performing that operation on two different types right so this is one usual scenario but again try not to do it as much as possible because it breaks the encapsulation and information hiding rules